I will be teaching you another way of making shapes by using the paint method. Before we get started, make sure that you have everything that I have on my screen. If not, then pause the screen and copy my code. The first thing that you need to do is to extend Canvas from this class. So type in extends Canvas. Canvas is good to use if you're going to add a lot of paint elements to your program. Canvas is also good to use if you're going to animate your your paint elements. So make sure that you that you import this Canvas library so we can use Canvas. Since this tutorial class is now Canvas, let's add Canvas onto the JFrame. So type in jf.add and we're adding Canvas to the frame. By the way, this variable t came from this object and this object is canvas basically so that's why we're adding t now let's make our paint method so type in public void paint parentheses inside of this parentheses type in graphics g We'll be using this object so we can actually make our shape and also set the color of our shapes. Make sure that you actually import this graphics library so we can use it. After you get this done, now let's make our curly brace. So let's begin with this method. Now let's make a red rectangle. First thing that we need to do is to set the color of this potential rectangle. So type in G, which is the variable from this object, graphics object, G dot set color and semicolon after you make the parentheses. Inside of this parentheses, type in color dot red since we're making a red rectangle. Make sure that this red is all is all capitalized or make sure it's all lowercase. And make sure that this letter C is uppercase or, or else it won't work at all. Make sure that you also import this color library so we can actually color the rectangle. Now let's make our rectangle so type in g which is the variable from the object like I said dot fill rect obviously this method takes in four arguments the first argument is the position of this rectangle horizontally and y takes the position of this rectangle vertically obviously this is the width of, of our rectangle and this will be the height of our rectangle so let's make it 10 pixels to the left and 10 pixels from the top and the width will be 100 and the height will be uh, let's do 50 add a uh, semicolon to this too now let's run a program and see if it works yep it works if you want this rectangle to be outlined instead of filled in then simply change this word fill to draw see now let's make an oval so type in g dot fill oval parentheses basically this method takes in the same arguments like this one so the first argument will be 10 pixels from the right 
uh, 100 pixels from the top. Let's make it 50 width and 200 height. Semicolon. And now let's run it. Now we have a vertical oval that's going downwards. Or, I don't know, it's going vertical. Like I did with rectangle, you can also change this fill to draw. So we can have an outline oval. So run this, and you see an outline oval. And the last thing we're going to do is to make a line. In order to make a line, type in g dot draw line parentheses. This method also takes four arguments. However, it's kind of different because the first two argument is the starting point of the line and the last two arguments are the ending ending point of the line. So for the first argument which is x positioned, let's do x or let's do 50 pixels to the left and let's do 50 pixels from the top so this this ends the starting point of the line now for the ending part the ending part of the line uh, let's do uh, let's do 100 from the left and 200 from the top so these two are the ending point of the line. So once you're done run it and yes you see this line now. If you want to change this color individually then simply copy and paste this and let's make this oval green and let's make this line blue. So yes, this green method is overriding this red method, and this blue method is overriding this green method. So that's why you see each of these things in different colors. So let's run this, and yes, we have three different colors and three different objects or items onto the screen. Well, this concludes my tutorial over how to use the paint method.